Hi, everyone. This is Karen Campbell, Jocelyn's Phil Wilson Curator of Contemporary Art, and I'm excited to share a bit with you today about this wonderful painting that we just brought into the collection last year, Three Girls in a Wood from 2018 by Kehende Wiley. Now, you may be familiar with Kehende's work, especially his portrait of President Barack Obama, but what you might not know is that when Kehende was a child, he was initially resistant to studying art, uh, which is funny considering that he's now thought of as one of the most accomplished portrait painters of the 21st century. So Kehende's upbringing was formative. He was raised in South Central Los Angeles, and there he witnessed firsthand how life in the inner city can impact minority youth. So after completing his Master of Fine Arts at Yale, Kehende moved to Harlem in New York City and began making portraits of young Black men in his community. This decision was in part practical. These men were his neighbors. Uh, But he was also starting down this path of correcting a long history of Black subjects being woefully underrepresented in art. And in fact, at the time he started his career, Gehende has said that he felt like his only model for portraits of Black men were mugshots. And he's compared those to the traditions of American and European portraiture in which subjects are seen as self-possessed and really in control of their own narratives. So Gehende soon garnered attention for making portraits that celebrate and glorify people of color. This painting, Three Girls in a Wood, uh, belongs to a body of work Kehende made in St. Louis in 2018. And to complete that series, he conducted what he calls street casting. Uh, This is when he goes into communities to seek sitters for his paintings. So in this case, he met people in the historically black neighborhood of North St. Louis, and he also went to Ferguson, Missouri, where in 2014, the fatal shooting of unarmed black teenager Michael Brown by law enforcement led to protests and really galvanized the Black Lives Matter movement. All of the paintings in the St. Louis series are based on masterpieces masterpieces in the St. Louis Art Museum collection. Uh, So this was inspired by a painting of the same name from 1920 by the German expressionist artist Otto Mueller. Uh, As he often does, Kehende has set his subjects here in a glorious floral backdrop that really adds to the grandeur of the scene, uh, but also suspends the women in time and space. So there's sort of a, a placelessness and timelessness to this image. For this body of work, Kehende has added a new element. So if you look on the right-hand side of the painting, there's this sort of warm light that is bathing his sitters in an ethereal glow, and I think serves to kind of further prop them up and celebrate them. Um, So I hope that you have enjoyed this brief gallery talk, and please check back to Jocelyn's social pages as there will be a lot more content coming up. Thank you.